Some residents of communities affected by recent skirmishes in Doma local government area assembled for this open air meeting. <laughs> the deputy governor, Mr. Emmanuel Akabi, who leads the government delegation, is the moderator. Effort to resettle them is the highlight. <laughs> While they discuss, the children watch despondently from a close range. Representatives of farmers and herders voice their concerns. Our cows have been seized and some of our people arrested. At the moment, some of our livestock and people are still there. They say they have problem in Penway State. So we are not in Penway State, we are in Nasara State. What is the reason of them entering and killing us, burning our houses? Mr. Akabi reiterates the importance of peace to both parties. We, as a people, must agree within ourselves that we want to live together. If we bring peace, if we bring all the security men in the world, and we do not agree to live together, it's an exercise in futility. Then the entourage moved to the palace of the traditional ruler of Duma, who states their resolve. We hope by the grace of God, by the close of this meeting, Doma people will deploy themselves to our various locations, whether in the farm or in the villages, to secure our environment for ourselves to thrive in our various endeavors. After that, they stop over at one of the internally displaced persons' camps. Our people are farmers, and it will not be way to them to remain here. But if they remain here, they have nothing to do than to them to remain in the Asocha home and perform their activities. Whatever it is, we owe it a responsibility to make sure that those of us who have had to relocate from our homes go back to our homes as soon as possible. The commencement of the rains heightens the woes for these people who are largely farmers. Their stay here also poses danger for the state, which is agrarian. But they have been reassured of better security by the Nasarawa state government. Halima Gayam, Channels Television News.